Once our estate was the envy of this land. Hello and welcome back everybody to Darkest Dungeon. Okay, now we do have the Prophet, which I think is the last new boss. And I need my level 2s to go. So what options do I have? I've got Shiel. Rot. Dog. We've got a highwayman. I can take twerk. Of course, Sister Susie. Alright, let's back up a little bit. Go back to the guild. Need to upgrade Asbad. Nope, oh, Asbad's already been upgraded. Let's go to the blacksmith. I think we are going to end up taking Sheel. So let's upgrade her armor. And I'm going to take Dog. Definitely taking Sister Susie. She's already upgraded. Now the question is, do I want Twerk or do I want Burke? Let's see, what does her sniper shot do? 6% crit and 90% accuracy. And she does 5 to 11. Burke's got the wicked slice and the point shot. Or grape shot blast, point blank shot. You know, I think this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to do twerk. And she's upgraded. All right. Let's do this. So it's going to be she L for sure. Dog. Sister Susie. And twerk. And we are going to kill the Prophet. Raving Madman, Doombearer, Apocalyptic Herald. Whatever his role, there is a sickness in his wild sermons that must be silenced to dispose of this Prophet. Okay, so let's bring food. And I like to bring just a little bit extra just in case. I'm going to bring a bunch of torches. I'll bring a shovel, a couple of keys. Just stock up here. Water, and let's bring a couple of herbs. Yeah, maybe I don't need that much food since we've got the herbs. Oh, you know what? I want to bring uh, anti venom. Let's bring one stack of anti-venom for the boss. We're definitely going to need it. Alright, that should do us. Wish us luck. Excavations beneath the manor were well underway when a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet. This filthy, toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions and prognosticated publicly that, left unchecked, I would soon unleash doom upon the world. Okay, how's our map looking? Ooh, a bunch of backtracking. Well, I guess we'll head down to the end of the tunnel here. Alright, boss, check it out. Use the herbs on this one. Almost didn't pay for itself. Got an emerald and a jade. I want a confessional.
Well, let's use... Holy Water on the Confessional. We'll have Twerk do it. She's got stress. Fortune Smirks, at least. So that gets rid of her stress. Pop a torch. Empty room. Alright, good deal. Scouting chance. Good deal. Okay, we do have an encounter coming up. Oh, and a trap. Can't forget about that. She's 10% on traps, and he is 50%. He's going to do this trap for us. Good job, dog. Disarmed it. Way to take care of it. Okay, Bone Ramble, Bone Soldier, Bone Courtier, Bone Arbalist. How do we want to handle this? Let's go ahead and do a come hither on the Courtier. Lots of good damage. A little stress relief for everybody. Um, you know what? What happens with an Iron Swan? 10 to 20. Might kill. You know, let's do uh, a breakthrough. Press this advantage. Oh yeah. Give them no quarter. Nice damage. A couple of kills. Judgment. Why don't we just finish off the soldier? There the we go. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. Yeah, twerk. Blind fire, please. Another blind fire. Didn't quite kill. He gets an attack in this round. Good thing he missed. Confidence Good job, as the enemy crumbles. Dog puts him down. Small treasures. Okay, we'll take the bus. Don't need to use a torch. Nothing in the room. Scouting chance. Awesome. Another empty room and two treasures. And there's going to be an encounter at the end. That's not the boss encounter, though. So, we're going to grab the two treasures. I think uh, that's going to be worth doing. Uh, let's use a key here. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Ooh, another one. Okay. Last key. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Not much of a payout from that. More in blood. Now, if this was a regular dungeon, I would for sure uh, take the room encounter. But since we're after the boss, I just don't really see any point. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Really? Shiel decided to take it upon herself to read the books and uh, ended up with Dacnomania, obsessed with killing. So that actually was not worth our time. Obviously. Okay, we're gonna backtrack. Gonna be at zero light here soon. And now the darkness holds dominion. Probably should have waited to loot uh, until I was death. on the way back. Darker the better for loot. Okay, two more treasures. This time we get them in the dark. Ah, the bookshelf. Check it out. Oh no, 20 stress. That's unfortunate. Had to be on the healer too. Hey, we got another key. Good deal. More scouting? No, no more scouting. Well, it could go either way. Let's go ahead and torch back up. The light. The promise of safety. Ooh, brawlers and acolytes. 
or an acolyte, not multiple acolytes. No matter. Uh, pull him to the front. Or her. Excuse me. Can't tell the difference. You know how it goes. Let me see. Yeah, we don't want to do a knockback. I guess you're kind of wasted. Um, just do a suppressing... Yeah, do a suppressing fire on these guys. Still hits. Clarified in a single strike. Alright, well, we're gonna heal dog back up. Oh, yeah, she's not even close to being hurt. Uh, wicked hack on the acolyte. That's a kill. Good. All right, dog. Twenty-eight crit strike. Very nice. Of course, he never says anything. All right, she yelled, got the other kill. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. It's nice and simple. Uh, our torch is at full almost, so. Oh, she got blighted, but must have resisted it. Yeah, she's at 50%. Well, there's half of our food. There's more than half of our food. Scouting, yes please. There's the boss. Alright, we need to go to the left. So, we will pump up our torch a little bit. We do have room encounter and a hallway encounter. Maggots. Not much of a challenge here, if I do say so myself. Executed with impunity. One hit, one kill. It should be like that for everybody. Dodge, dodge. Very nice. Bam. Alright, Twerk got some damage. Not a huge deal. We'll heal her back up. What about a double kill? Might? No, didn't kill either. Well, that's unfortunate. Figured I could have killed one. Alright. Judgment will finish him off. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Got some bust out of that. I will take it. Fifty gold in the sack. That's it. Dog failed to uh, take care of the trap. And here's the room encounter. Arbalist, Acolyte, Soldier, Brawler. Let's pull the Acolyte to the front. Just want to get rid of the Acolytes. 36 crit. Very nice. Machlora! Now the Arbalist hits our healer for 5 points. And Dog takes a little bit of damage. Why don't you heal Dog for me? Six point heal. That'll keep dog up. Alright, so now they're getting kind of nasty with the healer. And we are going to do a sniper shot on the Arbalist for nine points. That's a good hit. Why don't we just do a hook slice? Oh, he's undead. Seven to fourteen might get a kill with the soldier. Yeah, the soldier's fiend. dead. All right, they're really not liking dog much at all. So let's heal them. Arbalist can do minimal damage. 
What else can you do? Sniper shot on the Arbalist. Sounds good. Got the kill. Alright, she a uh, wicked hack. Leaves him with three points. That's heal dog. Five points. Alright. It is dead. Ooh, we ended up with a sapphire as well. Gotta drop something to take the sapphire. Well, I'm not dropping my food. Let's, uh, we're going to drop the shovel. There we go. And I do have a key. Oh, I thought I had just one key. All right. Figures. Um, yeah, leave this stuff. You know, let's go up here, grab this one treasure. Oh man, that was a I was afraid of that. I simply must know what is within. Okay, fine. Check the bookcase. It's a map. Alright, wonderful. Already got the level though. Thanks. So I should have saved my food. And used it for camping. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. What kind of buffs do we have? Plus 10% crit. Well, that's a pretty nice buff. Revel. Minus 10 at. Well, you don't want to touch it at all. Tracking. Less likely to be surprised. One companion plus 10% accuracy. What about you? All companions of religious reduced stress by 15. Um, you could probably use that on yourself. Plus 10 accuracy, plus 10 dodge. Alright, that's a pretty decent buff. What about you? Plus 2 speed for all companions. Alright. We're gonna do the prey. Oh, I did not read that. It's all companions only. It is not a self buff, which is what I was after. Uh, we're going to bless you. My friend, the light shines upon you. What, I've got six points left. I'm going to do a 10% crit buff on yourself. Much better. What about this gentleman here? Yeah, plus 10 accuracy, plus 5 crit. We will buff... We'll buff her. Everything will be killed with a well-placed blow. One companion reduced stress by 10. Yeah, let's use that on the healer. Keep your head down. That's how you survive. Okay. That's all we've got to use here. I'm ready for battle. Let them come. It looks bad, but there is nothing to fear here. We are as straight back as Royal Guard. Good. That is. That's it. No sleep for us. We march for victory. Hunting here seems futile. All meat is surely tainted. In radiance, may we find victory. Nope. I can't access that twice. I didn't think I could. Should be no encounters on the way either. Oh, a torch. How nice. So we will torch up maximum light for this encounter. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. All right, guys, are you ready? Made clear. I'm ready. Let's do. Let's do it. Let's kill this guy. Kill the prophet. Okay. A vision. Something falling. Oh, the light. You see the light? That must be from his attack. Dashed pew. Fractured pew. Pew blockade. 
Um, okay. So they've got massive resistances to everything. I seriously doubt I'm going to be able to move the boss. Never seems to work that way. So let's start uh, pounding the pews down. He's got this one's got 25 hit points. Dog hits the pew for 14. Our healer is active. We can do a judgment and start off on the prophet. Four points. Prophet has 105 total. Sniper shot, please. Only seven points. A little disappointed in that. Uh, Iron Swan on the profit for 20 points. Very nice hit. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Okay, we've got... Oh, 14 points of damage. A rock freaking fell on his head. Uh-oh. Disaster will strike here, it is certain. That's kind of scary. He's going to go down fast. Uh, suppressing fire. Minus 12 accuracy, minus 6% crit. Why don't we uh, do a debuff? Yeah, he doesn't have much resistance to debuff. Let's debuff him. Got him. Good. Hopefully that's going to uh, going to help. In the meantime, oh, you know what? He's got hook slice. He can bleed him. That might be better off. It might be the best thing to do. Let's uh, do an emergency heal on dog. And an iron swan. 16 points. I'm gonna wear him down pretty fast. A nice stress attack. Ooh, and a stun. Ouch. Dog dodged. That debuff really helped. And he knows, he knows. Uh-oh, we got two people. All right. Uh, yeah. So we've got rocks coming down on two people. I guess that is what I'm looking at. We just stack the bleed damage on him. Should have did that before. Heal dog. Yeah, that blight damage wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Uh oh, more stuns. Oh no. A little bit of pain there. Okay, we got more marks on the uh, the back end there. Bleed. Iron Swan. 40 crit! That's definitely a kill. Goodbye, pews. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Okay, that's it for the boss. Boss didn't turn out to be all that bad. Perhaps I was just lucky. Didn't even use my anti-venom. I thought the uh, poison would be a lot worse. Okay, let's get out of here. What do we got here? We did get level 3. Sister Susie leveled up, which means we're going to need another low-level healer. She all got Slayer of the Beast, plus 10 accuracy versus Beast, plus 3% crit. Dog got Stout, plus 15% heal skills while camping. Sister Susie got Bad Humors, minus 15% max hit points. Weakens her a little bit. Twerk got scattering, minus 5% damage ranged skills. Oh, well, that blows. Since all of her skills are, are ranged. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Okay, private P removes stress. Lady Mary got a new quirk, Tippler. 
that's wonderful. Joe Dirt received relief, recovered from stress. Torque made it to level two. Sister Susie made it to level three. She yelled, Dog, Sister Susie, and Twerk silenced the Sonora's Prophet. Okay, let's take a look at everybody. Yeah, we're gonna need, we're definitely gonna need some stress relief. Sister Susie. Uh, not allowed to visit the brothel, that's fine. We'll only meditate, alright. Sister Susie, meditate, please. I will touch the thoughts lightly and let them go. And Twerk. Oh hell, I forgot Twerk had the runs. I'm gonna throw Twerk into the sanitarium. I don't like having the runs. Wait, what's in that syringe? How's everybody else looking? Everybody else looks clean. All right. Good job, guys. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We will see you back here next time. Bye-bye.